what is genuinely one of the biggest surprises of the year. Coda is coming to Apple Plus this weekend, and we're going to talk about it. What is up, good fans? Welcome back to my channel. I saw this movie all the way back at Sundance, and Coda is dropping on streaming this weekend. Is it worth a watch? We're going to talk about it spoiler-free, and let's do it. So as a Coda, a child of deaf adults, Ruby is the only hearing person in her family. When the family's fishing business is threatened, Ruby finds herself torn between pursuing her love of music and her fear of abandoning her parents. And this is one of those films that I went into completely blind. I had no clue what the story was about at the time because Sundance, you really don't know what every movie is going to hold. And I walked out of it, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one to feel this way, just completely shocked and overwhelmed by emotion because this movie does everything a coming-of-age story needs to do, but it goes one step further, one step beyond that. It's what I expected the Sundance experience as a whole to feel like. The movie is warm, it's charming, it's inviting, and it's the ultimate crowd pleaser. Now it does get a bit cheesy at times and you can always knock a film like this for familiarity but at the end of the day it does overcome something like that with some of the best and most genuine moments between characters that I've seen in such a long time and Amelia Jones her voice is phenomenal in the movie because of course she has a passion this drive for singing that is amplified by a character we'll talk about here in just a second. Uh, but even further than that, her performance is one of the most moving I've seen all year. And then you have the family dynamic, her relationship with her dad. He's so quirky. He's hilarious at times. Uh, that with her brother and everything that's going on in his personal life. There are some subplots that are hit upon, right? I do feel as if they could have brought a few more things to light and focused on them in the movie just a bit more. And I feel like that would have added some extra emotional resonance, not like this movie needed any more, uh, but they definitely could have explored that. Overall, though, Amelia's Ruby and her love of music is infectious. Eugenio Derbez plays this music teacher, and oftentimes you go into a movie like this and you always want that adult figure, the person in our lives that we can look up to, in this case, her life, that... You know, at first, that relationship is a bit rocky, and there is this strange way in which he goes about bringing that passion out of her. But as the movie progresses, and you see that relationship grow, and you see in her what he sees in her, and how he's slowly bringing that out of her, and her willingness to go one step further and break this to her parents, and just the fact that her parents will never be able to hear her sing, which is what she's passionate about. So, of course, they're going to look at her and say, well, why is this what you want to do? But there are some moments, especially in the third act of this movie, that are just so touching and just so heartfelt that I looked at this film, even some of the flaws along the way, and I immediately forgave all of them and said, this, this film just blew me away. I mean, from top to bottom, I had no clue it would be great, a little long good. It had me so much more invested than I ever anticipated. It shines a light on a lot of things we rarely see in movies. I just love the idea, the concept of Coda. And before I give you guys my score, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like these reviews and you want me to review more things on streaming, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. And let's just get into my score. My score is an 80%, an 8 out of 10. One of the better films I've seen this year. Uh, easily one of the best coming-of-age stories I've seen in years. And just a crowd-pleaser. And it's one of those, when it ends, you just want to give it a standing ovation. All right, guys, I've raved enough. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.